with a new ship and a new member of the crew and Usopp back, we are off on a brand new adventure. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Boss for I Shinobi. We have episodes 337 and 338 of our One Piece watch today. And I believe we are starting this brand new saga called Thriller Bark. I don't know if it's Ark Saga. I don't know. But I believe it runs to, it says on Crunchyroll, like 383 or 384. So not that long, at least in comparison to uh, like Water 7 and, and in East Lobby. That was a, a mountain to climb to say the least but i'm super excited to get into it mostly to see if we can get any details on the new ship and all the features that frankie packed into this bad boy if you're new to the channel drop us up and hit that big wood bell and let's get started now i don't know what occurred in the uh the little filler arc in between this and any's lobby i imagine some details of the ship were shown god it's like three stories bro i like luffy's fit though this little vest absolutely no entry bro's hard at work got a bloody nose Nami's fit's kind of fire too. Why is she like trembling? I'm guessing some might have to do with the episodes before this. Oh my gosh, she changed the waiver. Oh, he like altered it. Oh. Wait, does it still work the same? It doesn't look like it. A white hobby horse. Yeah, it has like a wheel now. <laughs> it's like training wheels. I mean, maybe it'll be more suited for the sea. Oh, his trump card. Here we go. Surely this goes well. How did I know that the swing would be just the first thing I see them use? What is this? Bro, that kitchen looks so nice. Yeah, can I see the aquarium? They already brought up the aquarium. That sounds nuts. They're living the life now, man. And a lock on the fridge. He can accommodate now that he has like the space and the resources and the storage. Oh my gosh, dude. This is like, this is beyond upgrades. Oh, the little octopus. I can only think of Ikalgo now saying an octopus. If they pull you in the water, you'll die. Captain Usopp. What is that fit? Oh my God, they're gonna see him. <laughs> what? Yeah, they're all just clo They have so many. Oh my gosh. They weren't kidding when they said a hundred. <laughs> they look so scared. Oh, there's one. Oh, these poor little octopi. Octopi. Oh yeah, Usopp actually kind of put in the work. They're fighting back! They finna drown Usopp, bro. <laughs> Wait, they actually are. Oh, somebody's have to, gonna, gonna have to go in after him. The, uh, Sanji's just like, just please don't destroy my, my fancy new play. Oh, is this where Zoro is? I would not be shocked if he just took fat naps up in that crow's nest. Frankie and all of them absolutely popped off on the ship. He had a barrel? <laughs> Oh, he's got like a whole couch type thing. Yeah, this is perfect for naps. They have a speaker system, brother. Offering of treasure to the sea god. What? Oh, perfect. Free stuff. Actually free stuff. The ship looks so fire on the water. Hey, this is sort of similar to how we met Luffy. Is it like a tradition thing that Nami knows about? Yeah. Oh. Thank goodness she's here to explain things to them, man. I mean, yeah, you could take it out of it. Is it like a bad omen if you take from it? Oh, these rules seem very specific. It's aged a little bit. I mean, it sounds like they have plenty of offerings that they can make. God, Robin's leggings. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this might be a better one, Zoro. Why should it actually be money? I look, you feel like it. Oh. Oh, or a flare. All right. I was like, watch it be money because they they lost a lot of it from Luffy spending it all on the party leading Water 7. I feel like that's to like attract something. I don't think that was Boo's chopper. Seems like a trap. A simple prank on the high seas in the Grand Line, surely. I'm glad we haven't left the very animated ships behind with Mary and Thousand Sunny keeps right up with the tradition. Chopper's like freaking out. Escaping what? What do you mean a storm? I guess the way the winds changed. Look, like it's gonna take like way longer to get all around the ship now too because of how large it is, but it'll be able to brave uh, like strong seas a lot better for sure. What kind of storm is this? 
this. Oh my god, I love how Usopp's tying up the swing. That's his job. Oh, it's, it's uh, Sunny's first big test. Chopper, no! Frankie's like, yeah, I know you're Bill, right? I really do like his dynamic. I feel, I feel very safe having Frankie here. I don't know why. They're gonna fight back. They're not gonna succumb to the waves. Soldier Doxes. Oh, those changed numbers. Paddleship. It has like different forms. Oh my gosh. Wait, Sunny is cracked. Oh my goodness. Dog, I already love this ship so much. How many different forms does it have? Like the storm is absolutely nothing. A, a light fog. I guess I shouldn't really question weather on the Grand Line. That one C. <laughs> oh, wait, Kokoro told him about this. Yeah. Oh my, Florian Triangle. Yeah, she did warn them about this. <laughs> you mean there's ghosts? Yep. It wasn't really time. Wait, is there like a ghost already on the ship? Dang, they weren't messing around about it being uh, it being haunted. Ooh. All their faces are so menacing, man. Poor Usopp. Oh, Mary would have gotten wrecked by this. Ooh. Worst Chopper. I feel like Chopper would also be absolutely mortified. <laughs> Anti. Oh. It's the Flying Dutchman. See, this looks similar to the ship that uh that picked up Frankie. Whenever he fell in the ocean. Wait. wait. They're saying yo ho ho like a pirate, but all spookily. On your guard! Wait, that ship is massive. Now, in my perspective, Robin doesn't care. In my perspective, Sonny's massive now. That is insane! God, that voice actually is kind of spooky. I won't even lie. I want to see Chopper. God. It is really creepy. Yeah. I was waiting for Choppers. <laughs> Dog, Usopp, maybe you maybe you should take a little vacation to Water 7, brother. You ready to cut down ghosts with two blades, Zoro? Does he have like a temporary blade? He has three. Is there just one not in the sheath? Oh, it's one skeleton with tea or coffee. Oh, that is creepy. Is that the blood leaving their face or the ship? Oh, it's just passing. Oh. What a kind ghost ship. Just delivering alcohol, I guess. Well, uh, they do uh, on, on the Grand Line. He's so hype, bro. They're drawing sticks. <laughs> Shouldn't like most of you just agree to go together? I like how they have Zoro's like, yeah, somebody needs to go make sure Luffy doesn't get himself into trouble. Oh yeah, see, they're volunteers. Please let me draw! Guys, it looked like one skeleton. Such babies, man. They've already been to hell and back. Can't board a ghost ship. Oh my gosh, they're so dramatic, man. Poor Nami. Is it smart to just board? They might get mad. How do you know it's not a treasure ship? What do ghosts need with money? They might just hold on to it. Oh my god! I like the, the theme's already kind of playing with like kind of like spooky music. God, that is creepy, man. Oh gosh. Rest in peace? Nothing's happened yet! Oh, he's a gentleman. <laughs> Bro seems eccentric. I like his voice. Has an afro when he's talking. And he has game. W skeleton Riz. Ah, uh, back off, buddy. Sanji's got that taken care of. Yo, what is this music? This is a very clean skeleton. <laughs> what? Brother, you were so classy. Oh my gosh. Bro just made Sanji look like a saint. Do you poop? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Andy's back up. What an uh, an interesting fellow. Oh, okay. <laughs> just the the dryness of him asking for her panties, bro. Oh my gosh. He's on a ghost ship. You ran into him. He has more questions about uh. But that the but what? <laughs> Luffy, you just met him. We just added someone to the payroll already. And also, what role does he fit? And he said, "Okay, so yeah, uh, I guess um, I guess I won't question it. Uh, whatever. Uh, episode three thirty-eight. Let's get it." <laughs> <laughs> Upon you here on your vessel. Dead and skeletonized Brook. Skeletonized. God, I, dude, his voice is crazy. His little laugh. Bro, Chopper's got a cross. Oh my gosh, bro, stop. Harassment skeleton. Harassment Riz. And garlic. Oh my gosh. Bro, is that is that Ace's hat? Chopper looking back and forth with his little cross. <laughs> Where did you guys get this stuff? Clueless. What is happening? Luffy, we just added someone to the payroll, brother. Is this in our budget? Is this in the company budget? <laughs> What a gentleman. To keep him in control. Yeah. I literally said last episode it was the babysit. Oh. He's accommodating. Does he eat and drink like a, a person? I guess he poops. I'm saying, man. Are you sure you want him to join, Luffy? He seems a little uh, screw loose. I guess everybody on the crew kind of does. Do you eat? In decades. He said he hasn't seen a person in decades. Oh. Oh, that's really depressing. It's a skull joke. Dude, Luffy loves him. Oh my gosh. As a gentleman. <laughs> oh no, he's matching Luffy's energy way too well. He said milk for his bones. Crew Buckle? Brooke. Why did he call him Crew Buckle? Did he just make that up? <laughs> it was like the second thing Luffy asked him. We can kick the skeleton out later. Oh my gosh. Dude, it's like Sanji is unleashed now. Aww. Bro was lonely on his ghost ship. Uh, <laughs> he's very blunt, I guess. Dog, I, he seems like a lot. Revive, revive fruit. So he died as a human and came back? Oh. Bro's cleaning his teeth. Oh, okay. Oh. Wait, so when do you eat the fruit? Like, just right before you die? Sounds like a blessing and a curse. Bro, pause the burp. I, oh my god. Seems like you had a crazy ship. <laughs> Bro is just blunt. Oh. So that's when he died and I guess the fruit activated? I wonder who they ran into. Dang. The ship has just been floating? That sucks, man. It just, uh, guys, come on, put the crosses down. So when you eat it, you're just, you just can't swim. But then when you die, it activates. I see. I wonder if he's happy that he was revived or like, it, like, it seems he was very lonely. It's a decade since he's seen a human. Oh, oh, did he go to heaven and came back down? Oh, so he's is he like stuck here? Oh, a lost soul. Oh. Mm. Uh, he had already decomposed. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Even as a skeleton, he's pretty drippy. <laughs> Zoro's like, do not compare me to him. That's an insane devil fruit. Maybe he's able to swim since he died. Oh, no, I guess. No, because it's still the devil fruit, devil fruit power. I think he looks great. Strong roots. What an explanation. 
Guys, stop. It's so rude. He hates ghosts. <laughs> oh, because oh, he's died. Oh, I guess it is a vampire trope. Yeah, well, the garlic would have worked much better. It likes it's a flashing a shadow. Is there more to it that he doesn't explain? Give him a second. Oh. What? Are we at like the halfway point of the episode? <laughs> to be continued. Stole his shadow? That's so sad. How does it even work? In the world of light. That's why he's here? He's just stuck here? Bro, I don't think you can come with us. You just die? Just crumble? Oh, dang. Okay, the question is... How does someone steal your shadow and what benefit does that give them to take your shadow? Do they just have two shadows now? Is that even a benefit? Uh, I'm guessing we'll find out. Oh. Aww. Oh, so he was on land at one point. It's so sad he can't feel the, the sun on his, I guess, bones. Is there just some dude that just collects shadows? This guy doesn't have his either? Oh my gosh. He's not kidding when he means obliterated. So it just absorbs the light and kills him. Dang, bro's tragic life. Yeah, for real. No wonder he's so happy with how nice Luffy's being to him. <laughs> he hasn't been treated like this in a while. Aww. And he's all alone too. He's remembering them. Damn, Sag, poor Brook. He's just a lonely skeleton. Just drifting along. I bet you guys feel bad now, huh? No, I, no, I don't blame him. Luffy didn't even know the weight of him asking. Oh. Yeah, he wouldn't be able to go anywhere. Couldn't just hide inside all the time. Well, how do you get your shadow back? Don't act like such a stranger to the guy he met like 20 minutes ago. Luffy's like, I'll go get him. <laughs> yeah. Ah, you don't know Luffy very well, Brooke. Yeah, name. Before my second life comes to an end. So it is just like another, what, like however long he exists for? Like another human life? I don't think Luffy will take that for an answer, though. He's obviously uh, quite sad, quite distressed. Oh. Oh, he's got a violin. Oh my gosh. We need one. Let's see. Let's see how good he is, though. He's had a lot of time to practice. Stage fright? Oh my god, there's a ghost. Okay. <laughs> he was not lying about being scared. Chopper, use your cross. Oh my. Brooke knows. Somebody was watching his shit. What is that? Is that a sea king? Wait, it's a mouth. I love how you can hear Chopper's footsteps over everyone else's. That actually had relevance? Oh, did it, isn't that what kind of started the whole storm in the first place? It seemed like. Is that how they, like, got here? Oh, who's they? Oh, uh, wait, land. Oh my gosh, is that like a castle? Looks sick. The ghost island that wanders the seas. Oh, this is Thorbark. Okay. Thorbark's just the name of the island. Ghost island. It's kind of cool. Kind of mysterious. God, what a crazy design. Like that castle looking thing. All right. Well, what an introduction to Thrower Bark. We have a potential musician crew member. I'm guessing a lot of what's going to go down is ha going to have to do with getting his shadow back with whatever happened, whoever took it, why whoever took it did take it. Because like I said, whenever Luffy like sets his mind on something, he's not going to change it. It's just kind of how he is. And he seems obviously very enthralled with who Brooke is already. And is just captivated by his presence. Dog, I thought Frankie was sort of like 
a wild card esque hyper character. Brooke seems like Frankie times two. And I'm not going to lie. I, I kind of like him. I, I wouldn't really mind him being a member of the crew. I just didn't think we would get introduced to someone that could be so quickly after Frankie joined. And I guess Usopp rejoined. It's just kind of like whiplash, especially just getting into this arc. But I appreciate the how, how quickly they're just like kind of setting everything up. But guys, that has been it for episode 337, 338 of our One Piece watch through. Do drop us up on the channel if you are new. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace, peace.